New York Governor Cuomo expected to make his decision on school reopenings this week. New York City is the largest school district in the United States with more than one million students in the public school system. The mayor has already said schools should stay closed. The governor questioned whether it's the mayor's decision to make. Michael Mulgrew is the president of the United Federation of Teachers, representing 200,000 New York City educators and employees. Michael, it's good to have you with us. Should schools reopen or should they stay closed? We need to reopen our schools because schools are open right now. This is what people, uh, in, especially here in New York City, the buildings are closed, school is open. We're close to a, uh, a high 80 attendance on us every day. But for us to move forward, we would like to be back in our buildings with our students, but we need to make sure that we're doing things that uh, safety comes first. So it's, it's not just how do you structure the school, but what are we doing first? Uh, what is the testing that has to happen that people are recommending that we need to do? Where is the evidence that when people are entering a school building, they're not going to spread the virus again, which is the first phase? And then the next piece would be, then how do we structure the school for social distancing? Very complicated, very difficult. But we would like to get back into our school buildings, but we need to make sure it's done uh, following the safety guidelines that the medical experts are telling us and not because of political expediency. I mean, you, you say schools are open. I mean, be clear, remote learning isn't nearly the same as being in a classroom with a teacher. I think we'd both agree I on that. I completely agree with you on that. But I will tell you that in terms of the teachers themselves, what they're doing now is so much more labor intensive because they're doing so much more one-on-one -on -one work with each individual student. They're helping students. They're helping the parents understand their technologies and all of this other stuff. It is not the same. We would prefer to be in front of our students, but this virus doesn't allow us to do that. So I give the teachers in New York City all the credit for pulling this off because there was no planning. There was nothing in place. We were just closed. Uh, and the teachers figured out how to do all of this on their own, which is a great thing that we have to recognize. But now it's like, how do we reopen? When do we reopen? And what has to be in place? Yeah. Because Heroic. it's not... Go ahead. I was going to say heroic efforts, and no, no question about that. Teachers have their own children they're trying to take care of as well. Let's not forget as they're trying to teach our children. I totally, I totally get it. And I know you want schools to reopen. Do you think they will because of all the issues that you just mentioned? It, this is why it be, the, the frustration for us as educators are people are talking about reopening, and when they speak about schools, they just say, oh, we should reopen the schools. Nobody on. And the people who are saying it don't understand the complications that come into opening a school. So right, right now is the time that schools are preparing for next school year. We have, have anyone had a discussion, are schools supposed to observe social distancing? I would assume that would be the case, but I haven't heard, we haven't heard anyone say it. I don't think we're going to observe social distancing in all aspects of society except for schools. But then what does that mean to a school? Um, everybody remembers going to the school cafeteria. What happens when you change the class? Everyone's all marching up and down the hallways. This is a problem. But we can plan for this, but all you hear in this debate right now is should we open or uh, when do, do we open? Is it safe? And schools are child care services, which really upset the teachers when we're told that. Sure. Here Just we are. We're, 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 we're near May 1st. What is the out date uh, in the city of New York for the public school system? June 26th this year. Okay, so we have maybe a couple of months to go. Look, people always talk about the summer slide, what students don't learn uh, and what they forget yeah. during the summer months. We're, we're dealt with uh, an, an overwhelming situation this time because we've missed so much time in and of itself. How do you think about that? How do we prevent our, our children from falling by the wayside from all the school they, they've missed and then the summer piled on top of that? So we changed our grading policy just this week. Uh, we now have a grading policy that we can recognize that will automatically tell us by the grade that a child is given that this child uh, is going to need some academic intervention, maybe not as intense as a whole summer school redoing your seat time, and others it would be a whole they have to redo uh, a six week intensive. So we're trying to by changing our grading policy and make it even across the entire city. We're trying to use our final grades for this year to kick in what we're doing in the summer. But once again, are we going to be doing it remotely or are we going to be doing it in person inside of the building? That question is still out there. And that's the frustrating part because we need to be planning this stuff. The educators 
the school staff, the principals, we put, we need to be told what we're planning for, and we're really not getting that information from anyone. Mm -hmm. It's just we're going to open or not open, my, and I don't think they understand what goes into all of that. For sure. My, my kids won't be happy with my last question now, but are you giving any thought into – and I'm not in the New York City school system, but nonetheless, they won't be happy anyway. Are you giving any thought to summer schooling for everybody as a result of what's happened? Uh, from what we're getting from many of the teachers at this point, we do focus groups all the time. We're getting from some of them. Some of the students are actually doing very well. They're, they're very good with self-direction and they're handling the work and they're definitely understanding the concepts that their classes need them to understand in order to say they have completed this work for that class. So we, we don't believe that should be the case at all. Yeah. Uh, but we do want to use it for those who definitely have been affected hardest by the virus because just think about a teacher, if there's one device in a school, in a house, and you have three siblings and a parent all working from home, and the other three siblings are all going to school, we have to, you know, we're doing teaching now at 8 o'clock at night. That is not, that child is going to need some summertime. We'd rather use, identify those children and actually use that time to help them and get them to where we need them to be to begin school next September.